Okay, just a few uh, few things I want to touch base with uh, since last month's meeting. Um, the major crime I want to report is uh, some people are probably aware. It was a uh, assault that took place back on uh, January 11th, Celeste, between uh, Devon and Chano. Uh, a male that lives in the neighborhood is walking home. He's approached uh, by three males in a uh, silver colored vehicle. Uh, they exchange some words. One of the males says, uh, Do you remember me? Something to that effect. And uh, like I said, they exchange some words. Uh, two males get out of the vehicle. And, uh, one pulls some kind of a knife and cuts him on his forearm and his uh, chest. All right, the males jump back in the vehicle. They leave uh, that gets an ambulance. Um, the victim is brought to the Coney Island Hospital. Um, the detective still had this case. There was no arrest made. Um, that's why I can really speak about it because it is an active case. Uh, again, that was back on uh, January 11th. Um, Georgie had asked me at, at another meeting uh, just about uh, some of the questions about it. People taking scrap metal in the neighborhood. He, he asked me about uh, Dickton a crime court. on Dickton Court. No report was made uh, on that. So if anyone here knows of anything like this going on in the neighborhood or you know to your neighbors' homes, just please uh, you know encourage them to report it to us. You know the sooner the better. If you see someone, uh, you know every neighborhood you get the guys that come around and pick the recyclables when you put them out. Uh, you know in the street. Um, you know the cans or whatever. But, you know, if that garbage can't sell on your property, even that's illegal. You're not supposed to walk on someone's property and take, even, you know, even, you know, cans of soda or whatever. But, yeah, we've had uh, in the past uh, people that have actually stealing uh, metal gutters from homes and, uh, you know, because uh, there was just an article, I think, in one of the newspapers like a week or two ago about this. It's like a new thing now to list. You know, you get these scrappers, they call them, and they go around and take junk metal, whatever they can find, car doors, bunkers. Um, and some of them, unfortunately, are stealing from people's property. And they go to these scrap yards and they, they uh, turn the metal in and they actually get paid for it. You know, it's weird. So obviously, copper is a big one, you know, piping and stuff. Uh, we've had houses under construction. And so, um, you know, if you see anything suspicious, we got to just call 911, we'll come, you know, we'll check it out. Um, and just, you know, please pass it around. I haven't had any reports at all about this uh, in Garrett's Beach. Um, there was a graffiti arrest last week. Uh, two males, our uh, officers actually followed them. This was a little after midnight back on January 27th. They were charged with uh, three separate counts um, of graffiti. Um, happened over here at Garrison Avenue between the Bonner Channel. They also hit up by uh, Stewart Street. On uh, Garrison Avenue, they were taken up on a, a bus stop and up uh, by the New Park. Actually, uh, like I said, they were following three locations. They were taken on a uh, mailbox and telephone call. Uh, in their 20s, two males, uh, not from over here, they live uh, in the 6 3 area. Um, the only thing, quality of life, just wanted to mention, I had some stats for last year. Uh, criminal court summonses, uh, what um, we issue most of the time for, you know, beer drinking, being in the park after hours. Um, you know, uh, usually fear and being in the park after hours are uh, probably two of the biggest ones. Urinating in public. Some lower level marijuana. Uh, so just the Garrison Beach, you know, 2009, 6 one precinct issue, 328 criminal court summonses. And we're actually up uh, from 2008, the issue 235. So we're up uh, almost 100. All right. So, you know, uh, I know we, we've received some complaints. You know, some people are happy we're here, some people don't see enough of us, but, you know, we're out there. Um, this month, January, I think there was only five of these particular summonses issued. Again, you know, it's a dead of winter. Um, I'd imagine there's, you know, not as many kids hanging out as there would be in May, June, July, in warm weather. But again, if you see any disorderly people, you know, um, especially in the parks at night, um, you know, please call. You know, if, if it's a disorderly group, kids drinking beer, or doing anything illegal, you think they're smoking marijuana or something, just call 911. If you remain anonymous, call from your cell phone, just tell 911. You know, there's a group of kids hanging out at Sheba Park or whatever, the ball fields, and uh, you know, it also comes on and they get this investigated. All right? Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I just one of that. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, anyone interested? There's actually no uh, six one precinct community council meeting this month. The next one will be in March, on uh, March 10th. Okay, and that's at the Greenbridge. Right. On uh, Ocean Avenue. That's at 730. I'm going to invite you. I'd like to ask you to address something for everyone. Uh, at that meeting we were at Monday, we were told they issued four summonses for the young people coming out of the park, which we still call the weeds. 
coming out of the park half an hour. And I mentioned that two of them happened to come up to me and Garrison Evans and said, hey, we got a summons. Why? What is the actual time after which somebody should not be in the back weeds or in the so-called the park? Not so-called. The, the, the entire, basically, the whole opposite street is all considered the nearest to the park. You know, the opposite side of the you know, um, I, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I'm gonna look at the sign right now. It's, it's probably either nine o'clock or dusk. Well, that would be with the All right. Like that it's not posted. Yeah. Right. Dusk. Yeah. Sometimes it'll be posted, like even uh, like some of the beaches. It'll be nine, or some of them will be even ten o'clock. You know, like we have Plum Beach over there uh, with the Bell Parkway. That's nine, I believe. Manhattan Beach, I believe, is also nine. Um, well, most of the city parks, they're either gonna be dusk or nine. And right, like if it's not posted, it would be dusk. So technically, again, it is a good. I mean, you know, uh, you know. Obviously, there's been some incidents of uh, vandalism in the last year or so, right? The fires going back, uh, and the most recent graffiti and everything. Uh, at these, uh, the meeting George was talking about. There's a meeting with the six one captain and the inspector from the uh, six three precinct. I uh, councilman Fiddler's office, a couple of parks uh, representatives were there, a couple other elected officials' offices were there, and um, you know, we just want to make sure that the police are out. Um, then we're doing that job basically because I think they're going to be doing some more work in the, uh, in the park there. So just, you know, if, again, if you have young people in your families or, uh, you know, just let them know, you know, if you get caught over there, even if they're, you know, good kids, you know, the police aren't going to know who's a good kid, who's a bad kid, who's the one actually doing his graffiti and who's just hanging out, hanging out with their girlfriend or whatever they're doing, you know what I mean? Uh, but if you call that park after hours, you're probably going to get a summons. Because right? the six, the four that you mentioned, actually the six, three issue for, um, we had five for the month of January. I believe most of them were for beer. Um, I don't know. I don't think they were necessarily in but just, you know, generally the general of the park. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, the whole street, basically, from uh, PS277 to the end here. Okay. Anybody else have any questions? John? Do you know if there's a sign at all posted up there for hours when they're not supposed to be in the park? You know what? I, I, I don't know. The top of your head, I'm not sure. sure. If there's not, if, if that's something the community would feel better with, I can, we can put in a request to the parks department. I'll take a look right now as soon as I leave. That's you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, well, yeah. That's also the 63rd, so you shouldn't have to. Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Is, is, this, is, this, is the summons like that enforceable even if there's no hour posted? Yeah. 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 It falls under the uh, general dust, at least, uh, in, in all parts, right. oddly enough. Central Park, Plastic Park. So that's what I was told. Uh, we happened to have a separate conversation. The okay. other thing, well, John will address it and I will. I don't know if you'd like to, but the meeting we're talking about really centered around the park benches that were taken from Seba Avenue Park. I have a letter from Lou Fiddler because he should not make it tonight. He wants me to read it. Um, I'm going to say something on behalf of the police who were there. I don't know what uh, it is with the major and the military. It's a major. Oh, in, that, that is fact. That all right. Is fact. He was from the 63rd? Yes. And then they had uh, a lieutenant who was, I guess, assistant to Chief Fox from Brooklyn South. Yes. And uh, each of these gentlemen, Lou Fidler was pressing for an arrest. He wants somebody arrested for taking those benches out of Seba Avenue Park. And while he was pressing for that, it kind of slipped that any arrest will do because then maybe you can kind of get some information from whoever might be arrested. <clears throat> and each of those officers came to the defense, I would say it's my terms, of Garrison Beach. They said, you're not going to get that information from the people in Garrison Beach. <laughs> they stick together. They look after their kids. They want to change things themselves also, but the fact remains that they are going to make arrests. And the 63rd said they are going to increase their patrolling. So if you want to save your grandchild or your child from any problem, now is the time to get them by the scruff of the neck and say, if I catch you over there, I'm going to kick you in the ass. <laughs> and so that's, that's it. Anything else, Mike? Anybody have any other questions?
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We'll see you next month.